Everybody stand. I hear this. And I line, I stand before God and I line out. It was so clear and audibly. He said, tell Omega children. As I, he didn't say Omega children. He said, Omega children. He said, tell Omega children. I am about to bless them. Yes. I said, why Lord? He said, tell them. I am taking the church into a new season. Yes. Christianity that is all kinds of comfort is not Christianity. Christianity that there is no challenge and battle you go to is not Christianity. True Christianity there is a prize. So that's why during your work with God, don't be consigned of what you go through. Be consigned of the benefits. and family this year is aborted by fire amen. that immense sick i say the agenda listen listen the agenda of hell over your life and your family this year is aborted by fire amen. he said what will you give them give them a dry breast and a miscarried womb how many of you watch fire night please if you are here you have not watched fire night please go and watch the fire night again and pray let's stand on our feet i want to pray one prayer he said what will you give them he said, give them what? And a miscarried, you know, give them what? A miscarried womb and a dry. It is only women that can explain miscarriage. I don't know how a man can, if a man can explain miscarriage very well, that man is not correct. Because it is not in their nature to even conceive. They, though they are the seed carrier, but they are not the, cons, they are not the concession carrier. Give them a miscarried womb and a dry breast. I say, Lord, this man, you must be wicked praying this prayer. Knowing fully well that if a woman gives birth to a child, the first food of the baby to nourish her is the breast. How can a woman give birth to a child and not meek? Huh? When my wife gave birth to that first baby, meek, no meek commands. No meek, no hope. They start pumping one thing for milk to come out. The child, you will see them, and if they come out, they, they know milk. They start doing their math. So what God is saying, it is going to do to your enemy in the remaining three, nine months of this year to go. God will give everyone who is against you a miscarried womb. 
and a dry breast. Lift your hand of fire. Say, my father, my father. In the mighty name of Jesus. God told me something few days ago. He said, son, start praying in, in the mighty name of Jesus. So say with authority. Say, my father, my father. In the mighty name of Jesus. Every cancer of hell. Agenda of hell. Over my life and family. In the remaining month of this year. Oh God of my father. Give them a miscarriage womb. And a dry breast. Open your mouth and turn it back. I want the sound. I want the instrument. Kabbalah Gada. Reko soko to labadesh. Mandon salaba. Everyone that is not happy. Leke beleke deke. Ebe leke deke deke. Abaratada gada. Shaka baratada. Bunda baratada gade leke doja. Lord give them a miscarriage woman a dry breath. Labraganda bayada doja. Ika brata la gada basha. Yana mama mama mash. Regaba la gada basha. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, my father, my father. Whoever they work out for my matter. Are you not Africans? Why are you Americanizing? Don't say, don't say, my father, my father. Whoever is working for my matter. I know you work like that. Say, my father, my father. Whoever they work out for my matter. In the mighty name of Jesus. They go work out loss. It's thank God, brother is in church. Maybe she go and you go and get some, some McDonald's for you guys because your voice is not loud enough. Have you ever lost your key? You know, there's a way you lost your key. If you lost an item very important, in the first 20 minutes while looking for you get insane. Am I right? You start calling your children's name. You start calling okay. You put the blame on the evil, the innocent one that just came from work. Say, my father, my father, my father, my father. whoever they work out for my matter, in the remaining months of this year, in the mighty name of Jesus, you go work out loss. Open your mouth and turn it to prayer. Whoever they work out for my matter, whoever is working, oh paraka palaka 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 dasha, reketele ke soka, shaparate ya kabroda, ela palaka shanda ba, sona na ya na maya kada palaka, ela kada la ba shaga ba. In Jesus' name we pray. Lastly, say in the name of Jesus. Anyone in this life that is not happening over my progress, what are you waiting for? Kill yourself. I saw that prayer online. I said this prayer, I go copy them. Because I don't copy somebody post a car, those are not my business. The way the guy was saying it, I was so much with, 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 with a spiritual consciousness. Say, my father, my father. In the mighty name of Jesus. Whoever is not happy with my progress. What are you waiting for in this life? Kill yourself. Kill yourself. Kill yourself. Open your mouth, come your prayer. Like a paragada, kill yourself. Kill yourself, kill yourself. A parada basha. Whoever they are, la da 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 da, a da ba la da da, a ba la da 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 da, a ba la da da sha. Kill yourself, kill yourself, kill yourself, kill yourself. Reko saleba, glory. Bo shaba ya ba la ba da. Bonda ba la ba da sh. Soga ba la da sh. I have confidence in you, Jesus. I have confidence in you.
say this morning I just prayed the Lord help me to say it. I began to pray since on Thursday Lord what do you have for us as we leave this place a um, few hours from now to a new location and uh, God gave me a word and the Lord gave me a word I was worried this morning because it's good to copy your father but most of the times we are leading an intelligent people you must understand what you say because this church is very very intelligent we have intelligent people among us and we have very people with great desire for god over their lives so when i saw my father preaching this morning i was like oh will i change my topic today now or what i almost did but in my heart it means that whenever you begin to say or what you wanted to say has already been said it means it's a confirmation right yes. there is a little similarity with my message this morning with god's servant our father and your lord god's servant apostle professor johnson suleiman let's celebrate grace hallelujah mm -hmm. hallelujah <laughs> celebrate me <laughs> celebrate our mama in the house is on her way also celebrate yourself also there is one animal i've been looking for ever since i come to america for years now i've not seen it it's called redneck lizard i have what do they call it in english agama, agama lizard i have looked for that lizard since i came to america years now i've not found it it's only the lizard that fell and praised himself as he looked like this, he looked nobody present. I tried. The first thing, he first of all looked where he fell from. He looked at this. He looked, look. He said, Oh boy, I tried. Can you celebrate yourself one more time? <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> okay, sing it. Somebody says, sing it. You go and bring it for us. <laughs> Hallelujah. Let's see quickly Matthew chapter 16. I'm reading from verse 21 to 28. Matthew 6. I want to teach today. Matthew chapter 16. I read from verse 21 to 28. And from that time, for that time forth began Jesus to show his disciples how that he must go through Jerusalem and suffer many things of the elders and the chief scribes or priests and the scribes and be killed. And be raised again the third day. And then Peter took him and began to rebuke him, saying, But be it far from thee, Lord, this shall not be unto thee. But he turned and said unto him, Peter, get thee behind me, Satan. Thou art an offense unto me, and for thou savest not the things that be of God but those things that be of men and then jesus saw then said jesus unto his disciples if a man will come after me let him deny himself take up his cross and do what 
Verse 25. For whosoever shall save his life shall what? Shall lose it. And whosoever shall lose his life for my name's sake. What? So what's the word? Shall find it. 26. For what shall it profit a man if he should gain the whole world and lose his soul? Or what shall he gain for an exchange of his soul? Hallelujah. I will stop here. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to teach on what I call serving Jesus with a prize. Somebody say serving Jesus serving with a prize. With prize. Yes. Serving Jesus with a prize. Yes, serving. Serving Jesus with a prize. Hallelujah. Amen. We must understand as children of God that your relationship with God or your work with God is service. What you do for the Lord is service. You must understand that Christianity was born out of a prize. And if we must maintain the testimony of Christianity, we must be willing to pay the price. The price has been paid already by Jesus dying for us on the cross of Calvary, sharing his blood. So the price of our sin has been paid. Is someone hearing me now? But to maintain the victory of the cross is our responsibility as believers to pay the price to maintain the victory of the cross. You know, there is something about maintenance, for example. Most of times, if you buy a car, for example, buying a car from the dealership is not enough. For that car to be as presentable and to be functioning very well properly, there's what they call service. Is someone hearing me now? There is a price you will pay for that car to be. Uh, how do I to be movable? Let me use that word. So that's what Christianity is. People will say, Oh, Jesus has paid the price already. You don't have anything to do. Yes, of course. He paid the price of sin. You cannot forgive yourself. It is Jesus that forgives us our sin. So the blood he shed on the cross of Calvary is the forgiveness of us, is the price he's paid. Someone hear me now. But to maintain. The victory of the prize, or to maintain the victory that he gave us, then is a price you will have to pay. And I pray the Lord help us this morning in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, this message is not for everybody, those of you watching online or watching me right now. If you just bought a Ferrari yesterday, just bought Bugatti yesterday, just acquired some properties over yesterday, as I speak with you now, you have like $15 million in your bank account. I'm not talking to you. I'm not talking to you. I'm not talking to people who have enough around them now. I'm talking to people who are going through some challenges right now. I'm talking to individuals who have an issue that is bottling them. I'm talking to some set of persons, hearing the sound of my boy, who is going through some battles of their life now. That is like a heavy burden in their flesh. It's those people I'm talking to. And after this prayer or this meeting, the Lord will take away your burden. Yeah. It's a price. Somebody said, Serving Jesus, Serving Jesus is the price. No victory comes on the platform of gold. First of all, what is the price, for example? What is price? I wrote here, I say price or price is an amount of money exchange required or given for a payment over something. Price is the amount of money. Price is an amount of money that is given for a payment of what of something so when you want to acquire a particular something you pay a specific amount there is an amount required it's called a price is someone hearing me now when a woman is pregnant or for a baby one of the price the woman will go through in the process of delivering it is called the pain of labor there is no way you can be so spiritual enough you know, that's the holy spirit right now uh, this baby is nine months come baby can you just come out you will pray and die the baby not to come out like that is someone hearing me now it is naturally you will go to the price of pain is someone hearing me what is price price is also pain price is sacrifice what 
do I mean by price? I'm talking about there are prices you pay. There is a pain you go through while serving the Lord. In some of the hear me now. As we are sitting here, we all have different kinds of pain we are going through. You can also classify your price as a challenge. While serving the Lord, there is a challenge you have to go through. It does not mean you are not a Christian, but it's part of the package of your service. And I pray you will go through it and you come out victoriously in the name of Jesus. You know, Jesus, where we read in the book of Matthew chapter 16, uh, Jesus began uh, to tell his disciples, I came for a purpose. Uh, I came uh, to die. As a matter of fact, I came to occupy the throne God my Father has destined for me. But there is a price to pay. Uh, if you read the particular verse, he said, For God has highly exalted him and given a name above every other name name that at the mention of the name of Jesus every knee what Baba. but before Jesus attained that level of greatness there was a price Are you hear me now before the Lord highly exalt his name there was a price he paid and Jesus began to tell his disciples, I am about to enter a realm in the work with God. There is a price. And he said to Peter, one of the prayers I'm going to pay, I'm going to enter Jerusalem. Why I enter there, I will be sold, I will be betrayed, I will be beaten, I will be killed. And Peter said, hey, fear. If you are if you are missing a lie, someone hear me now. Somebody say, if you and it's not only really Cameroon I speak in this church. Somebody say, if you say, Elway. Peter's because of the zeal of God or not. You know, there is a way you can be so zealous, you cannot stop your dealings with God. Most of you think if to be a Christian doesn't mean you don't have a problem. It's only, there are some problems God will permit you for a dealings. And Peter was so zealous. And Peter said, No, you can't go to the pride. And Jesus said, Satan, come out of him. Peter wasn't the Satan, but Satan was about to speak to Peter to obstruct the prize. Because without the prize, they cannot be glory if you must attain the glory of greatness there is a price to pay and i pray today may god help us as a ministry as a church to pay the price Amen. some years ago then i was in africa we know a papa um bishop um Idahosa. There was a man, I said it before in this church, and the guy came to him and said, oh, oh, Papa, I need your anointing. I, because he saw the way God was using this great man of God, Bishop Benjamin Idahosa. And the man was moving all over the world. He was traveling. And this young man ran to him and said, oh, Papa, I want to become like you. Give me the anointing. I want to be popular and great like you. And the man said, come to my office. And the young man thought he has got the anointing. You don't tap the anointing by laying of hands. As the guy came to his office said go down the guy went to his knees in his mind of the guy oh it don't happen i don't have mad and he said father in the name of jesus give him problem let them betray him let them persecute him the guy took his no papa i didn't say you should cost me i said you should give me the double portion he said that is what it means to get the double portion there is a price you have to pay mandabo sukatia christianity that is all kinds of comfort it's not christianity Christianity that there is no challenge and battle you go to is not Christianity. True Christianity, there is a price. Look at what he said to him. Look at let's go to the scripture. He said, Look at verse. Let's see verse 24. No, let's see this verse 24. Look at 24 of Matthew chapter 26. Matthew 16. Look at 24. Then Jesus said unto his disciples. If any man will do what? If any man will do what? Let him deny price. Take up his and do what? Let him deny himself price. Take up his cross and do what? Price. You cannot be serving the Lord and still be doing certain things. Let him deny himself. The denier of yourself of a certain thing.
be like fighting. Leave me, pastor. Make a ten award. No, the prize will say, stay back. That's the prize. Pastor, leave me forget. We go scatter church today. We go, we go, we go trouble. I go tell and say I'll be at Boru. No, the price. <laughs> if you don't want to pay the price, you become the Agboro. But if you want to pay the price, you must retrain yourself from Agboro. I don't take nonsense. I don't take nonsense. If I take nonsense, I die. If you must pay the price, you will take nonsense. I was talking to my mama. We we're talking this morning. There's something happened. We were relating and was talking about somebody. I said, I said, Mommy, leave, leave that matter. I said, Listen, one of the price you pay as ministers, as Christians, if you say you will not be this, people will disrespect you, people will accuse you, people will misunderstand you. If you say you can't take it, you cannot become a gold. Gold is an attractive object in the market. Very costly. If gold has voice, go and ask gold. How did you become so very expensive? He will tell you, I went to the fire. You someone hear me now? Now, if God refused to go to the fire, he will remain a precious stone. I mean, if you have seen gold. So when you see gold, you don't even think it's a gold. Tangos, no, what actually brought the civil war? I think in is it uh, in Sierra Leone? Is it, I watched the film of the what brought the uh, Sierra Leone civil war was it was it was it was um, gold, it was gold mining, gold and diamond, right? And I saw the gold. It was just a stone. That was what scattered that country over years. But thank God they are back. Now, if the stone refused to go through fire, he would remain a stone because when you see the gold, you don't even know it's gold. This gold that is very precious today, that is very costly today, that women, most of people, even countries, store their resources with gold. Is someone remember? Some country treasury is on gold. Is someone remember? If you ask some of you now, there's a particular gold you wear for an occasion. You don't wear it to church. Women have in the. It's called the gold box. Some is a coffin box. Yes, as they're going for that occasion, you will see them. They take it once a while. As they come for church, they drop on. So not even went to church. It's very expensive. Now, let me tell you something. Gold never become expensive. He allowed himself to go through the fire. There was the price. One of the price gold paid is the fire. Somebody say fire. Somebody say fire. One of the price that gold paid, that it became so expensive today, it is what? Fire. So if you say you are a believer, you are born again, you are not ready to go to anything, you are not fit to be the kingdom. So Jesus said, let him deny himself, take up his cross and do what? You know, we are moving to a new place very soon. They are going to show you the video. We have a lot of work to do. I'm coming to that. But listen, but before we acquire that place, I picked some individuals. Church, we call them church location and all that. Everybody played his role. It's only remnant. But I can I tell you there are some persons among us who paid the price of the time. At the time that me called me, say, Pastor, my head, my head want to bust. I said, Your head not go bust. Now, most of you we are just moving now. I will just move and just see that. No, there are people who pay the price behind the scene. May you pay the price. There are people when you say price, price is your time, price is your resources, price is your energy, price is your idea, price is also what your resources. Everything about you must pay the price. He that said you love me, say you can't say you love God. He said, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy hearts, with all what? Might with all that might now the word might means with all your capacity, with all your heart, with all your mind, and thou shalt love the Lord with all that is within you. You cannot love the Lord with that your mind. It's allow me today. People enter church the first time they enter church. It is an error for you to enter a church. I'm thinking of what the church will do for you. Well, I don't know. This church when I come, so what can they go do for me? Uh, yeah. As you just enter the country, go meet uh, Biden. Biden, what will you do for me? They will first say you go bush somewhere. <laughs> America is not looking for what they will do for you. America is looking for what you will do for the country. Because those who become a stars, or those who are prominent in the city today in the land, were people who did say it is for, for the country. So don't enter a ministry and say, <laughs> I don't join you now. <laughs> you know, you won't give one. Have you seen 
Hallelujah. Somebody say, Lord, help me to pay the price. Price is what you go through. Look at I wrote this down. Listen. Price is what you go through for the kingdom for the perfecting of your work with God. Write it down. Price is what you go through for the perfecting of what? Of your work with God. Price, or call it, call it pain, is what you go through for the perfecting for the kingdom, for the perfecting of your work with God. God said to Father Abraham, walk before me and be thou perfect. Am I right? So it is a body, it is a challenge you go through for the kingdom, not for yourself. That is why I am so much, when I see people say, the way they talk to me in that church, I'm not coming again. No, you are not, you never once born again. Not every one of us had a good moral training. Some people lack manners in church. You someone hearing me now? They're not getting manner. But they get pandemian. <laughs> if you are waiting for people, everybody, everybody cannot have manners. They are mannerless people. Is someone hearing me now? So if you say, oh, because the way this person treats me, I am no more coming to church. I am no, you, you are not ready to allow the price you pay for the kingdom, for the perfecting of your work with God. Remember, whatever you go through in church, you are not going through for the pastor. You are not going through for the ministry. You are going through for your kingdom, for the kingdom, for the perfecting of your work with God. Thou shalt work out thy salvation in fear and in trembling. Lo shagabayadosh. Price is what you pay or is what you go through for the kingdom, for the perfecting of what? Of your work. It is, it, is, it is what you go through for the perfecting of your work. For your work to be perfect, there are price you will have to pay. You saw what you hear me now. For God to see you as someone who loves him, there are price you have to give. What is seven? Seven. Seven. Somebody say seven. 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 Your serving for God cannot be complete without service. As a matter of fact, you cannot separate serving for service. It's only me now. They work in line. Serving and service. Before you can say you have served very well, you must have gone through service. It's only me now. It is your service that amplifies your serving. You cannot say you are serving God without service. What is service? Service is service. A help. Required an assistant giving for something is service. An assistant, a help giving required. When you enter, um, you are invited for an occasion, right? The celebrant, or whatever you call it, the celebrant, when you, 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 the celebrant, when you come on occasion. Now, there are people that do the, the serving of the food, right? They are serving you the food. They are rendering service to the celebrants. That you left the celebrant party and say, man, that party was so glorious, man. That guy tried. But in before the trial, what makes you give a call to the celebrant is as a result of the food, the way you were saved. So that the accolades go to the celebrant because some people were there as service. Service was required. So I'm, I'm not talking to people here. If this church, Omega Fire Ministry Maryland, must become the church of your dream, you want to become, then every one of us, you need the sound of my voice. Even those watching online who have decided to make the same spirit on the line, it's okay, you are still my brethren. <laughs> Don't follow my mouth. No, we can talk. <laughs> one day in my, in my country, the governor uh, was giving out, um, he was paying people salary, and they brought some names. And the governor was like, so they brought a, a particular ministry, uh, uh, government ministry. And so the names 
that was there, the name they gave him to, to pay their salary, the numbers of those who were there were more than. So, um, the, the, the assistant I said, no, no, uh, governor, there's what they call ghost workers. He said what? He said they don't come, but they are, they are part of the workers. I said ghost. Does ghost go to church? He said yes. They are ghost workers. Their name is there, but they are never seen. Is someone hearing me? Now, it's not really like it or not. They are, still, they, are, they, are, they are workers because they are there. So, those watching online does not make them discord, but they are just ghost, ghost members. Uh, because the church we are entering now is three times bigger than this, whereby you cannot say there's no enough social distance. If someone hear me, then if you don't have coming, then it means that you have made yourself a ghost. I will still accept you as the ghost worker. As a matter of fact, I need ghost workers to be a ghost. <laughs> don't be offended. Is someone hearing me now? Now where am I? So so where am I? So he, he said ghost workers, and that was where. Now where am I? He said to him. So you give the celebrant accolades because some people served. They are served. They became service. Hallelujah. When you enter, you lodge, most of you have lodged hotel, or you enter flight, or you go, for example, you went now the, the, the air crew, see the air crew, the, the, the cabinet, or the, the air crew, the hostess, for example. You know, there are some that are very, very polite. Yes. They are serving you, but they are rendering service to the company. Are you getting me now? They are serving you as a customer, but the service is to the company. To retain your membership or to retain your customership, there is a service that is required from them to you. There is a price. That's why you can send them any message at any time. You can imagine a man or a boy of 12 years. He will just, can you get me some water? Come on, water, water. He will still come. He will still come with the cup. Am I so? Thank you. It's only, I mean, no, this water is so cheap. Is, you, you, you are commanding you somebody that is to blue, somebody that is like your mother. You are commanding him on the airplane, on the, on the flight. She's not bothered. The price, she's paying the price. The gain of that price is her paycheck. Am I right? She, she does not consign. What she's consigned is her paycheck. You can't be saying, mm, this your head is very, very bushy. That's your business. You are telling him bushy doesn't stop it. So what she's consigned is his paycheck. So that's why during your work with God, don't be consigned of what you go through. Be consigned of the benefits. <laughs> that is why a woman can be pregnant and go through labor pain. After two years, you will see them come in the gate. They are not consigned about the pain because the pain is the prize. They are consigned about the joy. May God give you the joy of the prize. I say, may God give us the joy of the prize. Amen. Hallelujah. Now, there are levels of prizes you have to pay. There are levels of prize. I'm, I'll, I'll round up soon because I promise to close on time. There are levels of prize. Remember, whatever you are going through now could be your prize. Never, and I say it again, church, with all my heart as a pastor, as a Christian, never in your life compare yourself with anybody. The very day you do that, you become Mr. B. The very day you start comparing yourself, you lose your originality of who you are. Never in your life compare because there are levels of prizes there are levels of challenge remember i said prize is a challenge you go through for the kingdom so there are levels of challenge you go through so don't look at mr a mm, oh i wish never you wish to become anybody wish to become yourself look at it there are levels of prizes the price or the pain of what you go through is given to you by the measure of your faith. Can I say it again? The price or the pain you go through for the kingdom is given to you by the measure of what? Of Church, can you respond? By the measure. So when you see somebody going through this, listen to me, it is as a result of the measure of his faith. So God cannot allow you to go through that you cannot overcome. Let's see something. Romans chapter 12 verse 3. 
Minister, what the hell? Help us read that quickly. Romans 12, 3, please. Thank you. Now, we're going to be reading scriptures now. The next 15 minutes is going to be scripture, 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 and I'll round up. Romans chapter 12, verse 3. Look at it. Romans chapter 12, verse 3. Yes, sir. For I say... Mm -hmm. Not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, mm -hmm. but to think soberly, mm -hmm. according to... As God had dealt to every man the measure of faith. Now, when somebody is going through a problem, it doesn't mean that person is living in sin. Um, you, you are privileged by God because God knows if he gives you what that person is going through, you can't stand it. Look at it. Put it again, please. Put it again. Can you put it on screen? Let me read something. That the spirit feed. Every woman. Every woman. Okay. If you are evil though your pastor is here, you are getting closer to your pastor. If the closeness is not fine, your closeness will be judged. The woman will judge your closeness. Oh. So that's why you have to come not as a member, like a, you have to come like a daughter. When you come to shoulder to shoulder with the pastor, you are putting yourself in trouble. Because when the woman whine you, I will not answer. So you have to come like a daughter to be accepted by the mother. But you want to come like uh, this thing, you will be whined. If you whine, I will block my ear and not see. Now, listen. No woman will tell her husband, sleep with my mate. In it's ready to share his matrimonial bed with any idiot, no matter how stupid the man is. And that's to tell you, Sarah must have gone through shame, must have gone through embarrassment, must have gone through ridicule. Listen to me, child of God. Wherever you are, hearing the sound of my voice, watching me online, I don't know the ridicule or the shame you must have gone through, but it's part of the price. But once you is sure, after the price, there is a glory. Yeah. Bible says, weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. So Sarah said, I can't take it anymore. Sleep with my man. Price. Somebody say price. Price. say price. There are levels of price we pay. So that's why when Sister A is going to the God knows she has the capacity of going to. Let's see something. First Corinthians chapter 10, verse 13. Can you put that? But Mr. Water, read that for us, please. I told you we're reading scriptures right now. First Corinthians 10 13. Say Lord, say Lord. Lord. Put your hand on your chair. Say Lord, Lord. help me Lord. to pay the price. Say, help me, Lord, help me, to go through it and pay the price. Quickly, sir. First Corinthians chapter 10, verse 13. Mm -hmm. There had no temptation like in you. Hold on, sir. Hold on, sir. Can, you, can everybody open your Bible? Put, put your, don't look at me now. Put your eye on that Bible. Or you can look the screen through the case. Move on, sir. There are no temptation taking you. There is no temptation taking you. But such as is coming to man such that is coming to man hold on sir it means nothing happening now does not happen before is someone hearing me now nothing happening now does not what don't let anybody you know some people can you know when i got married newly then eh? women does it the little thing they will just they will sample the ring most of when they get they are talking to you the hand is here I just have to let you, it's a lie. They want to tell you, see something, see something. <laughs> see something. They are trying to show you the thing. Move on. Temptation. But God is faithful. But God is faithful. Who will not suffer you to be tempted. Who will not suffer you to be tempted. Above that which you are able. Above that which you are able. But we with temptation. But with temptation. Also make a way to escape. Ah, may God give you an escape. Yeah. I say may God give you an escape. Yeah. There is no tell. Okay, move on. Yes. That ye may be able to bear it. That ye may be able to bear it. Look at it. There is no temptation taken such as is common to man, but God give God is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that you are able. But will with all the temptation also might give you a, a way of what? So what you are going to now 
is the price you are paying because God knows you have the grace to go through it. Serving Jesus with the price. Serving Jesus with the pain. Do you not know what it means for somebody to be faithful in the things of God and yet there are some area is in a, in a life that is ridicule to people. Listen to me. You cannot say you are serving God without a price or with a price until people around you have seen a particular need in your life that is visible. Can I say it again? You cannot say you are serving God with a price until people around you have seen a need that is very what? Visible. And yet, you are still faithful. You don't know too Christianity is not where everything is full of roses. You just look up and now pastor now everything. Hmm. Some of you sitting here, if you open your mouth to say what you are going through, some persons will run out of here. I'm telling you. If you think pastors don't have challenge, don't forget Elijah was a man subject like like passion as we are. It means Elijah has flesh. He go through the common thing with the anointing he does. When Paul was praying and Paul said, Satan buffet me. And he said, no, Paul. My grace is what? Is sufficient for you. For you to actualize and come to a place of celebrity and be appreciated and be a man of victory, you must be willing to go through the price and the price must be paid. Acts chapter 9. Acts chapter 9, verse 11 to 16. Quickly read that for us. I have three more scriptures to be enclosed right now. Because I'm going to call out people who are here, including myself, who is going through some particular challenge or pain in your life now. It is time for God to give you victory over that pain. Oh, Bashaka. I began to pray on Friday. The Lord, two things the Lord said to me. I have to be sincere because I am uncomfortable to God. God told me, preach this. Yeah, my, my people want to reach out. And there is something God told me and I began to laugh. He said, tell Omega Meras in Maryland, I am about to bless them. Amen. There are some names God gave me. I, I'm a pastor. I will not, I will, I'm not going to say the names. But God gave me certain names. But listen to me. Whether your name, I'm not going to call but God gave me certain, it was so clear to me, my angel just appeared and started to say, tell this person, tell this one, tell this one. I reached out to some of them, tell this one, tell this one, tell this one. He said, but generally, I am about to bless your people. Amen. He said, but tell them. They should open your heart. Amen. Tell them, don't do the work of the Lord deceitfully. Is someone hear me now? Do it as a service. Read, sir. Read, sir. Thank you, sir. And the Lord said unto him, And the Lord said unto him, Arise and go into a street which is called straight. Are you reading from chapter 9? Reading from chapter 11. 9, 11. Read from. Okay, okay. No, read from, uh, read from 9. Yes, read from, from 9. Yes, so that I can get the picture. And he was three days without sight. Mm hmm. And neither did eat nor drink. Okay. And there was a certain disciple at this Damascus. Okay. Named Ananias. Ananias. Okay. Yes. And to him said the Lord in a vision. Okay. Watch you. Move Ananias, on. Ananias. Mm -hmm. And he said, Behold, mm -hmm. I am here, Lord. Yes. And the Lord said unto him, Arise and go into a street which is called Straight, and inquire in the house of Judas for one called Saul of Tarsus. Mm -hmm. For behold, he prayed. And he had seen in a vision a man named Ananias coming in and putting his hand on him, that he might receive his sight. Then Ananias answered, Lord, I have heard by many of this man how much evil he had done to the saints at Jerusalem. Jerusalem. Okay. And there and here he had authority Sorry. from the chief priests to bind all that call on thy name. Verse 15. 
But the Lord said unto him, Go thy way, for he is a chosen vessel unto me, mm -hmm. to bear my name before the Gentiles, mm -hmm. and kings, and the children of Israel. Mm -hmm. Move on. For I will show you... Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Read verse... Uh, where are you? Read 15 again. Read 15 again. Listen, church. Listen, church. Read 15 again. But the Lord has said unto him... But the Lord has said unto him... Go thy way. Uh-huh. For he is a chosen vessel for unto me. he's a chosen... Don't forget. He is a what? Choosing top rest. He's a what? He's a what? Choosing. Move on, sir. To bear my name before the Gentiles. To bear my name before the Gentiles. And kings and the children of Israel. And kings for the children of Israel. Don't forget that word. He was the what? Choosing. Read 16, sir. For I will show him how great things. For I will show him how great things. He must suffer for my name's sake. Wow. Eh? No, he must enjoy. Change that, change that, change that, change that. He must suffer for my name. No, sir, it's not suffer. How can he say suffer? God is wicked. He can. He shall what? He must suffer for my name's sake. Is it shall or must? Must. He shall what? Must. Must. Move on. Finish the reading, sir. He must suffer. Come. For I will show him how great things. Uh -huh. He must suffer for my name's sake. Uh -huh. And Ananias went his way and entered into the house, putting his hands on him and said, Brother Saul, the Lord, even Jesus, that appeared unto thee in the way, has come as, as thou camest. Stop in the 16. Stop there. 15 say he's a choosing vessel. 16 say he will must suffer. How do you compare a choosing vessel to suffer? I don't, are you getting, I don't know, I don't know. Church, I don't know what you have pictured what I'm about to say. God said to him, Paul, you are a choosing vessel, but you must bear a burden for the Gentiles and for Israel. It means I will exhort you to become a preacher that will bring salvation to the Gentiles. The Gentiles, we are the Africans. But if you must bring the gospel to the Gentiles, to the Asia people, there are certain things you have to suffer to attain that height. Somebody say the price. The price. Say the price. the price. Say the price. If you are not born again, I'm not talking to you. If you are not born again, this message is not for you. Because you will not understand what I'm saying. My pastor, I don't understand the price. He's saying, uh, the price. The price of my car is uh, 25000 That's not what I'm talking about. No. It takes a born again to understand what I'm saying right now. God just said to him, he's a choosing vessel. How can a choosing vessel suffer? Someone said the price. So you must understand. Here comes my conclusion of my message today. Because next Sunday, I'll be talking about the glory of... So if, if I talk about the glory of the price, you'll be crazy to pay the price. I'll be talking about the glory of the price. Sometime I'm putting my life, I should be like, I was 13. No, is it 13? I should be, I can't remember the age. Let me be very specific. But I know I was still very, like a youth teenager. But we are caught to a great man of God's house. I don't want to call it a name. Very great popular man of God. The wife, the daughter was about to marry the popular guy. The guy wants to get married to so the guy was um is a music actor in my country then. As a matter of fact, any girl, listen to me, church, you that you are not married. Any guy will just see you from Walmart. I like you, I want to marry you. That's not real. Love is love develops. It's someone hear me now. So he just saw he saw the girl and smiled on the girl. And the girl said, if she not marry this man, she will die. The papa talk, 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 the guessing. So, it's a, a very, if I call it this one, you will scream. You'll be surprised. Don't tell my, don't tell my, my, my prayer life starts. So, they contacted our senior pastor then. He called us. He said, there's a problem in Lagos. You have to travel to the Geo's house. I don't enter some places, so. That's why the anointing I carry is unkillable. <laughs> Edo will tell you, Ije sunu go, Ije sune go, Ije sunu do, Owe Paul, the stone, the what my head is stronger than the stone. So we enter there. I, I think I've said this thing before years, years ago. They say we should go and fast and pray. I was thinking, may God give you the grace to pay the price. Now I'm going to tell you the benefit of the price. Listen, it's not the money they gave me, but something happened. We entered there. They said we should fast and pray because the wedding after drag drag. Okay, the, the geo now said, okay, 
Then they were they go on. But they were scared because the guy, being a music or being a, uh, an actor, he must have dated so many girls and punched on so many hearts. And they were waiting for that day. Those of you punch on different guests' hearts, wait for that day. They will punch on that day for you. Yeah. Yeah. So they were scared that they, some guests he must have punched on are coming to punch on that day for, her, for him. So they called prayers and we were praying. The finest thing they, they brought us to a room. The room is just like my office. I was thinking is they said we should come and pray and fast. So I was thinking my normal fasting is six to six. If I'm doing 24 hours, should it be like three days? As we enter the room, the Jew wife came and gave somebody the key. They lock us. Yeah. They took the key. I said, I don't that. Ten days. Ten days we did not see the sun. We were praying and fasting. Praying. After they opened the door. I was like, I was moving like this. So the Jew wife now said, we should sit down. She said, give them food, give them food. Then he now brought some money then and gave us as a seed. We left. I traveled back. My mom saw My mom said, they want to kill my son for me. I was like this. But there was an anointing I contacted. Listen. All of us that got born again, to the glory of God, I'm saying this, God, no my heart. All of us that got born again at the same time, majority of them fell out of faith. Some went into fornication. Some went into immorality. Some went into drinking because we were very hot those days in church. Very hot. Fine, fine boys. Very hot. Very hot. When I say hot, we hot. You see all these guests. They all went in. We were swallowed. I won't tell you. Let me be sincere. I won't tell you I was not tempted. I was tempted. But at a time, there is a grace that preserves me. There is a grace that draws me back. There is a grace that draws me Till today, all few of us that say, Gideon, you, you. Why? Someone said the price. It was not because I was too righteous. But there was a price I paid over a man of God's life. Not to be embarrassed. And God said, because you have done this in your life. You will never be embarrassed. Yeah. That's why nothing happens. I'm not scared of when you say I'm not I'm not bragging. I am not scared of anything. If you are looking for a pastor that is afraid, go and look for your pastor. Fear, not in my mind. Doubt, not in my mind. So I'm even scared. I'm even say, Lord, my boldness, I think, is becoming arrogant. Lord, help me not to be proud. Because I believe with God anything is possible. But that grace comes because I fasted and prayed for a man's life, family, and ministry for 10 days. And when I left, God said, for this you have done, you will never in your life, even at your low extent, for you to be embarrassed, God will send a man. That's why when I see this ministry, we are see, don't understand, I know the Genesis. We grow. Each time you are thinking and something is about to happen to us, something surface is a sign. There is a grace here. And that grace, you will carry it to your houses. Yeah. I say that grace will follow you to your houses. Yeah. Serving Jesus, what? With the price. Lastly, let's stand our feet to read this as we pray. Job 14, 14. Quickly. Job 14, 14. Job 14, verse 14. Liga Barada. Serving Jesus with the prize. If you are hearing the sound of my voice, say, Pastor, I am serving Jesus, but there is a prize. I'm, there's something I am battling with. I am going to not one year, not two years, not ten years. Is the prize. I'm going to pray with you. I am among you. I'm among you. I'm going through it. I'm not an amount of it. I'm a preacher. I am serving God. I am praying, but yet I have the pain I'm going through. I can't abandon the work because of the pain. Because if you must gain, there must be power. Any gain, if there is no pain, there cannot be gain. Every genuine gain must go through pain. It's a pain. Read it, sir. Bashada. If a man die, if a man die, it's a question. Shall he live again? Shall he live again? All the days of my appointed time. All the days of my appointment time. Will I wait? Will I wait? Till my change come. Till my change come. 
Job was going through some stuff. And Job said, oh, if a man die, shall he live again? What was Job saying? The problem was too much. The challenge or the price was too much. And Job said, if I die now, if I die now, can I live again? What is die in French? Eh? Well, if I move now, move now. Ma? Ma? What do you say? Come. Oh, hey, another one here. Yeah. If I see your man now, nah. somebody say, She's your man. Hey, I'm looking for because I don't say French. It's French. It's, it's, say it again, dear. If I see your man now, nah, will I live again? And Job refused to see your man. You sure that's not Chinese? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, say Lord, Lord give, me victory give me victory in my challenge, my challenge. and in my battles let's be sincere we have fathers I have fathers here. I have fathers here. I have mothers here there's some of you now you have carried the body for 13 years after today the God of this ministry will bring you up by fire Manda Bashanda, there's an anointing in the next five minutes that will hit your life and God will crush that body in your life and give you a testimony if a man dies, if a man shoots a man, what do you say it in Kenya? You know it? Huh? In Swahili, sir. Yes, ma'am. What is it? Please, ma'am. Help me. I know you are very calm. You know, you know it? Ma? What, ma? Shawa? If I can't get Tom Tom, but God, then, this God, then. Now I knew why God eh, caused a division in Tawan Robabe. Yeah. I imagine what happened in Tawan Robabe. They fight tire. He said, bring me water. The guy carried a stone. Chow -en. Chow -en. He said, this church, you stole me. He carried a knife. I will choke you. Because God, may God confuse your enemies. Yeah. <laughs> you know, when you read Bible story, you think it's funny. He said, bring me block. The guy carried a stick and start chasing him. Job went through all and Job said, if I die now, if I give up now, will I live again? Job said, no, I must go through. It's this part of my greatness. I have to wait because I, I will wait till my change come. There's an appointment time for my change. There's an appointment time for my glory. I just have to wait to go through it to be celebrated. You will go through it and be celebrated. Yeah. I say you go through it and be celebrated. Yeah. Bones shall open your mouth and begin to give him praise. Yeah. My hope is built and nothing. If you are here, say, Pastor, there is a battle I'm going through now. There is a price I'm paying over the years. I want God to bring me out of it. Can you run out here? I am among you. I'm the number one person. Can you run out here, please? On Jesus. Be sincere. Run out here. On Christ. Rock I stand on the ground, ground. sink inside. Oh, let Jesus open your mouth and sing it. Let everybody now. Come on, want to go? Yes, sir.
at the angel. Look at the angel. Look at the angel. Every door I knock, you open. You're an incredible. stand before God and I lie not. It was so clear and audibly 
He said, tell Omega children. That's a, he didn't say Omega church. He said, Omega children. He said, tell Omega children. I am about to bless them. Yeah. I said, why, Lord? He said, tell them. I am taking the church into a new season. Like unto thee, O oh Lord, who is like who brought her? Who know her? God is there's an oppression going on in this life. Who, who brought her? Can you do the leg well? I'm on the gods who oppression, divine oppression, divine oppression. Of the church, I heard it so clear, brethren. He said, Go tell your church the year 2021, not just because it's a year of preservation, not just because it's a year of the regional impact, it is a year of the revelation of Jesus. When I heard it, I began to scream. I said, Father, what do you mean? He said, It is a year of the revelation of Jesus. I said, Why? He said, I am coming soon. Prepare a people who are ready to meet with me, and they cannot meet with me until they have a personal revelation of Jesus.